Hello everyone and welcome to another Chaltes Marine video log. Today we are going to see how we can perform a training injector calibration on Caterpillar with Chaltes Marine. The first thing we have to do is uh, click on import motor and select Caterpillar. Okay. Once here we click on the model in which we want to perform this uh, injector calibration. In this case I'm going to click in C9 engine. And here we have two different ways to access to the injector uh, calibration, okay? Through connecting to the engine control model in which we are, uh, have the diagnostics menu and then we will have to click on parameters or by special functions, okay? Here is a shortcut to the most common actions in Caterpillar. Uh, and Jaltes identifies the two different ways that we can uh, perform this calibration through trim files or through uh, uh, introducing the codes. Okay. So uh, here I would like to highlight that uh, this key action, these uh, calibrations, are available in more makes and models, not just in Caterpillar, especially for those users that work in inboard and work in other makes that rather than Caterpillar. Okay. Uh, and also uh, before connecting. I would like to, to click on connection in which we have uh, further information about how we can connect to this engine. Chaltes provides information and also the cables needed. Here uh, we can see that we will need an adapter that is the 505 adapter. And before connecting, we will be asked to run under the expert mode. Okay, the expert mode uh, is always required when we are writing in the electronic control unit. And it's a code totally free that can be requested from your client area in our website. Okay, so let's uh, perform uh, this uh, calibration. Okay, the first thing we are going to see always in Jaltex Marine Advanced Action is a description of the task. Jaltex explains what is this calibration about it and provides also additional technical information about how Caterpillar displays these uh, codes in their injectors. Okay. We can add customized help and customize this help for uh, future actions. By clicking accept, we will have the second step, that is the initial conditions. Here, Agile Test asks for the engine to be stopped and provides you information in, uh, in life. Okay? This data can be performed in different ways in order to check it. Okay? Once we have the initial condition, we proceed to the execution of the uh, injector calibration. We have to select the injector okay, and click on modify. Once here, child test will ask for the file that has this uh, train data. Okay, The train file of the uh, data of the uh, injector that we have to open and upload to child test. Okay? Now, automatically, Chaltest will copy this information to the control unit. It's asking if you want to continue, you click on Asset, and now, automatically, the process has been over. Okay? As you could see, Chaltest Marine uh, is always guiding you during the whole process. Uh, it's uh, very easy to use and provides a lot of information the, when it's needed. Okay, thank you very much for watching and see you again very soon.